Oh, hi again, everybody. Welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I am going to make the first mod to my new primary editing station, backup streaming station, really my everyday driver system. This is the one that I showed in an earlier build. It has an i9-9900K. It has uh, 32 gig of memory, pretty much, except for the processor, pretty much matches this PC back here, which is my secondary editing rig. Anyway, I am going to put in this. It is a cable that allows us to connect up from the exterior to the case, a USB 3.1 type two, which can go as fast as 10 gig bits per second using a USB-C connector. I think I showed when I was doing the parts breakdown of this originally, that this was something I was eventually going to do. Now I've been looking at the case very carefully. And when I decided that the best place to put it is going to be right here, right underneath the, uh, the existing front panel connectors. There's a, this is plastic. Let me show you here what I mean by that. Take the side panels off. And then I take the front off. It's got six tabs, three on each side. Got to sort of push them in from the side in order to, uh, to get it open. There we go. And it's going to be right underneath this plastic panel where the existing front panel connectors are. I'm going to use this about a half an inch right here underneath here. That's available for this. And right on the back here of this front, which is all plastic by the way, and I'll be cutting into it some more later. It happens to have about a half inch spacing right there, right below the existing panel switches and connectors and lights before it gets to the first five and a quarter inch bay. So I want to be above that. So if I take one of these off, for example, five and a quarter inch bay, here we go. So if I take this off, It'll be right in this little spot right above here. So it'll be right above the front panel. I'm sorry, right above the five and a quarter inch drive and right below the existing front panel in this little void that I have here. So this will come out the front here. Let me hold it underneath it so you can see what I'm talking about. It'll come out the front, but it'll be right behind this panel here. And I'm going to center it. And I'm centering it because there are some metal pieces in the case that I have to avoid and some wiring that I have to avoid. Now, I originally thought about putting it at the very top, but that would have required me cutting into the steel case. And that would have been a bit more challenging for a couple of reasons. One, it's more difficult. Two is it would be more likely to get dust in the front of it, which probably is not a problem, but pointing straight up, it might actually accumulate even more. And I'd wind up putting metal shavings inside this case, unless I decided to pull all of the innards out, you know, the motherboard and all the cards uh, to avoid any sort of problem. I can now machine this separately make the panel for it. The screws that came with this were not good enough. So I had to search through my uh, parts cabinets and I found two of these. They are M4 screws and I have a matching nuts and they fit exactly perfectly right onto the side of that. Now it's not black. So what I may do uh, before I lock it down, I may just paint that with some black paint, some flat black paint and put it in here. So you can't see the shiny silver or shiny chrome of these screws. So that's my plan right now. I have here on a table uh, everything I think that I need. I have a drill, battery drill. I have the bits, it's a full collection of bits. I have some special masking tape for doing, you know, modifications to cases. I have a ruler, I have pencil. I have these little files, one rectangular and one round that I can make it nice and smooth. So it should come out pretty good. I'm going to have to drill two additional holes. Oh, it's going to be a total of three holes that'll get drilled into this. There'll be one in the center where the actual center part of the USB-C connector will come out. It has a collar to it already. And then it'll need two holes on each side of that for the screws. And it won't get in the way of anything. Of course, whenever I uh, pull the front panel off, which shouldn't be that often, this plastic piece. I'll have to, you know, make sure that this comes with it, but it'll be going straight back onto the motherboard. So it should be easy to dress and keep out of the way. I may actually run it to the back and then run it over into the compartment where the motherboard is because the connector to the motherboard, just to show you, is right over here. The connector to the motherboard is right here for the uh, external USB 3.1 type two. So this will plug right into that. And then I can route it to the back and then keep it nice and neat back there and we should be good. So let me go ahead. I'm going to be um, showing all of the machining that I do to it. 
I'll probably wind up speeding through it at some, you know, high speed, you know, sort of make it like a montage, but you'll get the idea. I'll stop if necessary to show any challenges that I run into. So let's get started. Okay, what I've done is I've already taken some of the masking tape and I masked off the area that I want to cut. And I've marked here, if I bring it a little bit closer, I've marked here a little rectangle that I want to cut out. It's actually, I'm going to try to get rounded edges to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill two small pilot holes with a very small drill bit. I think this is a uh, 1 16th inch. So I'm going to try to pick the middle of these two end points here and drill into them. Drilling through here, put another one over here. And I have the two starter holes here. I'm going to put a piece of wood underneath here as I go to a bigger drill. I'm going to switch this to a 3 sixteenths. This should be pretty close to the size I need. And it'll have nice rounded edges too because of the drill. Now I just have to file this all out. Okay, let's see how that fits now. This is the part that has to go in there. Can I get it in this way? Looks like it still needs to be wider. If I want to get this whole collar in, there's a double collar on this thing. If you look at it carefully, there's two collars to it, an outer column and an inner column. So I really want to get both of them in there. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider to fit the outer column. Okay, now to drill the two holes here on each side of this into the plastic. So what I'll do is I cut the right bit picked out. That's the right size. And I will go ahead and put it in here, holding it in the center as much as possible and just drill straight down into this. I'll make sure that these screws fit. Yep, they do. I'm going to paint the black on this side. Let me clean this off a little bit. Let me go paint the screws and come back and see how it looks. Okay, let's finish this thing up. The hole is close enough. I guess it doesn't really matter. It can be oriented either way, but I'll make it so that the wire sort of bends down naturally that way. They look pretty even. So I think we're good. Let me do a little test here. Let me get a USB-C connector and try it out. Make sure that it works okay. Got this device here. It's got a USB type C. Let's put that in there. And it fits. I'll test it out once I have it installed in the computer. Okay, now that's all ready to go. I got the PC ready to go. Let's put this back on and make sure it fits. Didn't try it yet, so hopefully we're okay. I'm going to feed this back across the five and a quarter inch base, and I'm going to come through this first opening at the top here. I want to try to hide as much of this as I can. And then I'm going to pop this in place. Let's see if it works. If I got my measurements right, it should work just fine. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to feed it into the next spot down. Yeah, the next spot down here. It's coming in at the top. So now I should be able to plug it right into there, into that connector right over here. If it uh, fits, I didn't try it. They're pretty standard, I think. Standard they can be with these things. Can't see that well in there. There we go, it snapped in place. So now it's in. Let me come around to the back here and let me just dress this up a little bit. I'm just gonna sort of tie it with this bunch over here. I'll put one uh, cable tie for now, the Ziploc. It's really a cable tie. Let's get this wrapped around here. I'm gonna be playing with this some more, so I'm not gonna look for per perfection on this right now. Let me just get it so it holds it in place. Now, let me power this guy up and make sure he 
powers back up okay. I haven't tried it in a while. I got my mouse, got my keyboard, got my monitor ready to go over there. Just got to connect everything up. And that should be it. Turn it on. Power supply first. Did the motherboard light up? Okay, let's hit the power on switch. It lights up. Let's see if the monitor comes on. Yep, it says Edge on there. And we're into Windows. And there's the screen. Let me uh, log in. Okay, we should be up and running. Let me uh, look at the network, make sure that we're, uh, we're okay. Yep, the internet is up. Now, what happens if I plug something in? What I have here is my high-speed USB Type-C 3.0 connector. I have a high-speed SD card plugged into it. So let me plug this into the top of the PC here. I'll plug it right over here. We'll see what happens. It lights up. And if I go back to the screen, let's make sure we can open this guy up. And the one we want is Drive E right here. Let's open that up. See what I got? I should have my videos on here. And there we go. Okay, just for the heck of it, I brought up Crystal Disk Mark, and I'll do a test of that drive. This is Drive E, right? It is Drive E. So on Drive E, I'm going to do a Crystal Disk Mark, and we will see. And there it is, clicking away on the, uh, the little box that's connected to the new port that I just added. Let's see how this does. Well, the SD card is not that fast. It's running maybe one and a half gig, so it's not really going to be a good test, but at least we see that it is working. If I connected up a higher speed device to that port, I should be able to get the 10 gig out of it, but I don't have a device handy right now to do that. So I think that that's pretty much it. I won't uh, belabor this. Okay, that completes this video on my first mod for my new uh, daily driver, primary editing rig, backup streaming rig PC. In the future videos of the mods that I'm going to do, it'll include cutting out most of the front panel here underneath the five and a quarter inch bays, putting a real fine uh, filter magnetic. I'll have to put some metal strips in the plastic as well. And then I'll cut a hole in the side panel as well and put the plexiglass in it that I will etch with my uh, professional engineering emblem just like I did in my previous system. So hopefully you got something out of this video that you found useful. Stay tuned for the future episodes of this. If you get a chance to uh, consider subscribing, that would also be very helpful. Well, until the next time, take care, stay safe, and stay healthy.